Got to get that perfect gap, 44. I'm just using some, some copper Denzos. There's no need to do, pay extra and get a rhodium. I mean, no need to get a rhodium. Because when you change them, once a year or 60,000 miles, you're good. This is on a 2010 Scion XB. I just got done doing the transmission filter, which is kind of pain. The air filter. There's an old tranny filter. This thing is brittle. I had to pry it off. Once I got all 18 bolts off, I had to pry it off with a, a one inch wrench. The magnets are totally caked up. All I did was see where that bolts are right there. I took a one inch wrench and pried it in between the pan right there and there. Popped it right off. You have to remove this, uh, this cross member. Right here I used the impact wrench but I had a weak ass impact wrench. See these 17s? Two 17s over there. And there's a panel right here that I'm gonna wait to put on just to make sure I got no leaks. But so far it looks pretty good. These are all 10 millimeter X. I just went around it, snugged it. Just choke up on the ratchet. See all the way around. See right here, you can't get to them. That's why I need to take off this cross member. I wiped it all down inside of there and uh but yeah just just choke up choke up all the way on the ratchet all the way up here snug it you don't want to get too much leverage on that thing because then you'll probably strip those, those 10 millimeter bolts right there on the transmission filter but now i'm doing the spark plugs then i'll do the cabin filter and done for now Transmission filter job on the old Scion XB. That thing was a pain to get off. I had to still steer that wheel out and pry it off with a one inch. One inch wrench. There's the dipstick right there. It's crazy how it's wiring under here. But there's the old filter. Here's the new one. It's like 18 bolts to take off. Pray to God there's no leaks. That's it. Put that cross member. That thing was a pain to get off because it was all stuck from... I don't know if it's ever been changed in 14 years. So you put your coil back in. Get your 10 millimeter. Ten millimeter hex. Just snug it up, like I said, it almost everything. Just choke up on that ratchet. Just do hand tight, it's good. You don't want to strip that baby. Put your plug back on, bam. Next one. Take that off. baby off, pop your coil out, get your 5 8 spark plug socket, pop her in there, Like I said, I mean, everybody sw swears by platinum and radium. You only need copper, man. Just keep up on your maintenance. Copper, 
conducts electricity a lot better. Look at these radiators. Those things are tore up, man. Trust me. Copper. Change them out once a year and you're good. Once a year. Things are toast. See? Some good old Denso. I think they were $1.70 on Rock Auto. I got everything for about $92 and I put it on the easy payment plan, man. You know how we do it. Yeah, like I said, man, just get copper. Especially for this economy 2AZ and these XBs. You don't need nothing fancy, trust me. I know the dealer tells you and all that, but like I said, do it once a year, man. Right now, what is it? March? So I'll do it next March. It's $1.70 each. I mean, just keep up on the maintenance on your whips, man. You'll be good. Okay, for these, I believe 2008 to 2015 XBs, you open right here, here's the fresh cabin filter, you press right here, and over here, let me do it real quick, hold on, I don't really have nowhere to mount my, okay, so that's popped out, and this little shock, looks like you just squeeze that, and the whole thing falls out, it's beautiful. And then right here, sorry the sun, damn it, <laughs> excuse me, but yeah, see this little tab, push it, break that out, pull that son of a bitch out, get all the leaves and crap out of there. that thing was in there right airflow see the airflow going down um i mean it's a filter so is the airflow going up or down huh i mean riding you'd think the airflow's going down right could be wrong. There's the air going up. It is a fan. The one that was in here was upside down. Huh. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the airflow going down. Oh, wait a minute. Um, is it coming up? Up and through the air vents? Yeah, I guess I the airflow's going up. Could be wrong, but whatever. Click that back in there. Just like that. Boom. And she's done. And then uh, put this back up. Yeah, you see, just clip that back on. Push her back in. That's it.